Hello, world. Welcome, I am your host Mr. Stag. Today we will be taking a deep dive into Salesforce Incorporated, ticker symbol CRM. Salesforce Incorporated is an American cloud-based software company headquartered in San Francisco, California. It provides customer relationship management, CRM, software and applications focused on sales, customer service, marketing automation, analytics, and application development. Founded by former Oracle executive Mark Benioff, Salesforce quickly grew into one of the largest companies in the world, making its IPO in 2004. Salesforce's continued growth makes it the world's largest enterprise software firm by 2022. Today, Salesforce is one of the largest technology companies in the world taking advantage of powerful technologies, cloud, mobile, social, blockchain, voice, and artificial intelligence, to connect to their customers in a whole new way, and as of September 19, 2022, is the 61st largest company in the world by market cap with a value of nearly 153 billion US dollars. Salesforce ranked 136th on the most recent edition of the Fortune 500, making 26.5 billion US dollars in 2022. Mark Benioff was raised in a Jewish family in the San Francisco Bay Area. He graduated from Burlingame High School in 1982. Benioff received a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration from the University of Southern California, where he was a member of the Tau Kappa Epsilon fraternity, in 1986. He is married to Lynn Benioff and has two children. The family lives in San Francisco, California. While in high school, Benioff sold his first application, How to Juggle, for $75. In 1979, when he was 15, Benioff founded Liberty Software, creating and selling games such as Flapper and King Arthur's Air for the Atari 8-bit. Royalties from these games helped Benioff pay for college. While at USC, Benioff had an internship as a programmer at Apple. He joined Oracle Corporation in a customer service role after graduating. Benioff worked at Oracle for 13 years in a variety of sales, marketing, and product development roles. At 23, he was named Oracle's Rookie of the Year. Three years later, he became the youngest person in the company's history to earn the title of Vice President. Salesforce was founded in 1999 by Mark Benioff, together with Parker Harris, Dave Mielenhoff, and Frank Dominguez as a Software as a Service SaaS, company in a rented one-bedroom apartment at 1449 Montgomery Street, on San Francisco's Telegraph Hill. By the end of its first year, the company has expanded to 40 employees and an 8,000-square-foot office at the Rincon Center. As the four developed their prototype, they also build a distinctive startup culture. They only work on what they believe is important and necessary, to do it fast, simple, and right the first time. No fluff is their mantra. They wear Hawaiian print shirts, brunch at Mama's, appoint Mark's dog Cole as chief love officer, and constantly ask for feedback. Two of Salesforce's earliest investors were Larry Ellison, the co-founder and first CEO of Oracle, and Hall Z Minor, the founder of CNET. Salesforce was severely affected by the dot-com bubble bursting at the beginning of the new millennium, with the company laying off 20% of its workforce. Despite its losses, Salesforce continued strong during the early 2000s. Salesforce also gained notability during this period for its tagline The End of Software, in which it also hired actors to hold up signs with its tagline Outsiders Evil Systems Conference. Salesforce's revenue continued to increase from 2000 to 2003, with 2003's revenue skyrocketing from $5.4 million in fiscal year 2001 to over $100 million by December 2003. Also in 2003, Salesforce held its first annual Dreamforce conference in San Francisco. On June 23, 2004, Salesforce successfully completes its initial public offering on the New York Stock Exchange, raising $110 million at $11 per share. In 2006, Salesforce launched Idea Exchange, 
a platform that allows customers to connect with company product managers. In 2009, Salesforce passed $1 billion in annual revenue making it the first cloud computing company to breach the billion dollar mark in annual revenue and Salesforce's global customer base grows to 72,000 customers. Also in 2009, the company launched Service Cloud, an application that helps companies manage service conversations about their products and services. In 2014, the company now has 1.5 million registered developers. Salesforce reaches the $5 billion in annual revenue milestone faster than any other enterprise software company. In 2015, Salesforce enters the Fortune 500. Salesforce unveils IoT Cloud, connecting billions of events from devices, sensors, apps and more from the Internet of Things to Salesforce. In September 2016, Salesforce announced the launch of Einstein, an artificial intelligence platform that supports several of Salesforce's cloud services. In 2017, the company achieves net zero greenhouse gas emissions and begins delivering a carbon neutral cloud. In 2018, the Salesforce Tower in San Francisco has its grand opening. In 2019, Salesforce joined the Dow Jones Industrial Average, replacing energy giant and standard oil descendant ExxonMobil. Salesforce's ascension to the Dow Jones was concurrent with that of Amgen and Honeywell. Because the Dow Jones factors its components by market price, Salesforce was the largest technology component of the index at its accession. In 2020, Salesforce hosts a virtual Dreamforce, attracting more than 140 million views, and its first ever Dreamforce to you, bringing a version of Dreamforce tailored to individual customers around the world. On December 1, 2020, it was announced that Salesforce would acquire Slack for $27.7 billion, its largest acquisition to date. The acquisition closed on July 21, 2021. Journalists covering the acquisition emphasized the price Salesforce paid for Slack, which is a 54% premium compared to Slack's market value, as too high of a premium for the company, with views varying from the premium being too concerning for investors to Salesforce playing the long game. On August 24, 2022, Salesforce reported its 2022 second quarter earnings of $7.72 billion. Upon the German software firm SAP reporting its earnings for the same quarter totaling to 7.52 billion euros, Acceleration Economy reported that Salesforce had surpassed SAP to become the world's largest enterprise software vendor. This mirrored Benioff's remarks in Salesforce's earnings call, where he stated he looked at this quarter very much as kind of a milestone. Salesforce announced a partnership with Meta Platforms in September 2022. The deal called that Meta's consumer application WhatsApp would integrate Salesforce's customer 360 platform to allow consumers to directly communicate with companies. CRM's current stock price at the time of this video is $160.65 with a market cap of $160.65 billion. The stock is currently undervalued according to Simply Wall Street by 44.1% with a fair value price of $287.55. The company has a P.E. ratio of 299.4. The company has a P.B. ratio of 2.7 which is undervalued based on the industry P.B. ratio of 35.3. CRM currently pays no dividend. The company has earnings per share of 0.54, a gross margin of 72.61%, a net profit margin of 1.83%, and a debt-to-equity ratio of 17.6%. Mark Benioff owns 2.78% of Salesforce valued at $4.4 billion. At the time of this video Mark's net worth is $6.7 billion. Salesforce went from a small startup to a Dow Jones company in under 20 years. The cloud industry seems to have a promising future. Tell us what you think about the future of the Salesforce and the cloud industry in the comments section below. Mr. Staglogging on.